Hey folks, Mrs. File here. So this is reading number two for our last module, module six. And once again, remember we're talking about the power and danger of a single story and how hearing one thing can make you look at people or believe something about a people or enforce a stereotype that, as we have heard, is not necessarily untrue, but definitely incomplete and definitely not personal. Um, the story, because you're staring at it on your screen, is Barbecue by Sandra Cisneros. Sandra Cisneros um, also wrote the little um, short story book, The House on Mango Street, that hopefully you've read. Um, she also, this one is particularly from Woman Hollering Creek, um, which I read in college. She's one of my favorite writers, along with Isabel I.M. Day. Um, also short stories, um, a little more adult than the House on Mango Street, which is when she's as a child growing up. Okay, so this is kind of a view of childhood through the use of Barbie dolls, okay? So Barbecue by Sandra Cisneros. Yours is the one with the mean eyes and ponytail, striped swimsuit, stilettos, sunglasses and gold hoop earrings. Mine's the one with bubble hair, red swimsuit, stilettos, pearl earrings, and a wire stand. But that's all we can afford, besides the extra outfit a piece, yours red flare, sophisticated A-line coat dress with a Jackie Kennedy pillbox hat, white gloves, handbag, and heels included. Mine, solo in the spotlight, evening elegance in black glitter, strapless gown with a puffy skirt at the bottom like a mermaid tail, formal length gloves, pink chiffon scarf, and mic included. From so much dressing and undressing, the black glitter wears off until her titties stick out. This is a dress invented from an old sock when we cut holes here and here and here. The rough, the cuff folded over for a glamorous, fancy free, off the shoulder look. Every time the same story, your Barbie is roommates with my Barbie and my Barbie's boyfriend comes over and your Barbie steals him, okay? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Then two Barbies fight, you dumbbell, he's mine. Oh no, he's not, you stinky. Only Ken's invisible, right? Because we don't have the money for a stupid looking boy doll. And then we'd rather both have new Barbie outfits next Christmas. We have to make do with your mean eyed Barbie and my bubblehead Barbie and our one outfit apiece, not including the sock dress. Until next Sunday, when we're walking through the flea market on Maxwell Street, and there, lying in the street next to some tool bits and platform shoes and heels all squashed in fluorescent green wicker wastebasket and aluminum foil and hubcaps and a pink shag rug and windshield wiper blades and dusty mason jars and a coffee can full of rusty nails, there where two Mattel boxes, one with the career gal ensemble, snappy black and white business business suit, three quarter length sleeve jacket with a kick pleated skirt, red sleeveless shell, gloves, pumps, and matching hat included. The other sweet dreams, dreamy pink and white plaid nightgown with matching robe, lace trimmed slippers, hairbrush, and hand mirror included. How much? Please, 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 until they say okay. On the outside, you and me skipping and humming, but inside we're doing loopity loops and pirouetting and spinning. Until you to the next vendor stand, next to the boxed pies and bright orange toilet brushes and rubber gloves and wrench sets and bouquets of feather flowers and glass towel racks and steel wool and Alvin and the Chipmunks records. There and there and there and there and there and there and there. Bendable leg Barbie with her new page boy hairdo. Midge, Barbie's best friend. Ken, Barbie's boyfriend. Skippy, Skipper, Barbie's little sister. Tootie and Todd, Barbie and Skipper's tiny twin sister and brother. Skipper's friend, Scooter and Ricky. Ellen, Ken's buddy. And Francie, Barbie's modern cousin. Everybody today is selling toys, all of them damaged with water and smelling of smoke because a big toy warehouse on Halstead Street burned down yesterday. See there, the smoke still rising and drifting across the Dan Ryan Expressway. Now there's a huge fire sale on Maxwell Street today only. 
So what if we didn't get our new bendable leg Barbie and Midge and Ken and Skipper and Tootie and Todd and Scooter and Ricky and Ellen and Francie in nice clean boxes and had to buy them on Maxwell Street, all water soaked and sooty? So what if our Barbies smell like smoke when you hold them up to your nose, even after you wash and wash and wash them? And to the prettiest doll, Barbie's modern cousin Francie, with real eyelashes, eyelash brush included, and a left foot that's melted a little. So, if your dress in her new prom pink outfit, satin splendor with matching coat, gold belt clutch, and hair bow included, so long as it doesn't, so the dust doesn't, so as long as you don't lift her dress, right? Who's to know? So, for if you are a gentleman who's listening to this, you have just gotten like a huge <laughs> lesson in women's fashion <laughs> because that's the whole thing about Barbie dolls is you have them dressing up in all sorts of different outfits. And obviously these kids don't have it and they've made their new, you know, they've made one dress out of a sock, which would be nice and form fitting and off the shoulder look. And they get their new Barbies at a fire sale quite literally because the toy warehouse had been on fire. And so what if one of them has a little melted foot, you know, as long as you cover it up with the dress, everything's okay. Why is the story in here? The story is in this because if this was the only story you got about these kids, you would just think that they were horribly poor and didn't care about anything. And this was all their parents could get them. Well, part of that would be true, right? But part of it's just they're little girls and they do what all little girls, including me when I was a little girl, they played with Barbie and Skitter, Sk Barbie and Skipper and Ken, and all these new people who didn't exist when I was a kid. So never take one story as the whole truth about anybody. All right, we'll see you on the next one.